So I've owned this guitar now for about three years. And yes, I've demoed it on the channel in the past, but I thought we should do a second look because three years later, you know, what do I think of this thing now that I've had it for a while and had a chance to really play it and break it in and get inspiration from it and all that stuff. This thing is a rock solid built guitar. Let's talk about the specs real quick because you know what they are already. Mahogany body, mahogany and maple neck, five piece neck, neck through construction, 24 frets, 25 and a half inch neck scale, uh, jumbo stainless steel frets, blacksmith branded frets, 24 of them. These things are super silky smooth, super silky smooth. For a guitar in this price range to have such great fret end treatment, it's just wonderful. I mean, this is on par with some of Ibanez stuff. It's not gonna be rounded ball ends, but they're so smooth, no fret sprout, nothing. It's just completely comfortable. This is a 14 inch radius neck all the way through. 14 inches is perfect for me, for my needs. You can do all your bar chords comfortably and you can still shred away for, for days. Okay, so being completely honest here, I uh, just do want to mention a couple of small, minor, really minor things that kind of, you know, don't bother me, but I notice them. So uh, this has a nice little bit of an arch top to it, as you can see, just a little bit. And uh, But still, for some reason, when I'm playing standing up with a, with a strap, uh, I find that when I'm picking, you know, your forearm kind of wants to push into that top edge and kind of make the guitar kind of do this. I don't know. Not a big deal. And then on the back side, where they put the um, strap button, it's not, you know, I prefer it right where they normally are on the, on the side. This is on the back. Um, I actually had to move it. You can see I drilled a second hole. The first hole was more inward. So there was a lot more neck dive kind of feel to it. I wanted to kind of help balance it out. So I moved it up a little bit. Um, you don't want to go too far forward though if you're going to do that because obviously you can possibly chip or crack the horn or the finish there. But I drilled a little hole and I used the strap locks of course. Not a big deal. That helped out a little bit. It balances better. Uh, this thing just plays great, man. It's amazing for what it does. It plays on par with some of my much more expensive guitars. And uh, it's gotten rave reviews from a lot of other people as well. I mean, Henning talked about it as being one of his favorite, you know, lower end kind of budget guitars because it's just built really well, you know? So I just thought it was real quick. I want to check this one out with you guys again. It's been a while. You guys seem to like the Harley Benton stuff, you know, and I... I do too. This thing is great. I currently have this guitar set up in John Brown's uh, dad gad tuning and uh, getting really inspired with that, writing some new riffs. I kind of want to get into more of that modern metal stuff, some gent type stuff, you know, those kind of riffs. And uh, why not try another tuning? It's a lot of fun. And uh, I think I'm running 11 to 48s for dad gad. I found that 10 to 46 were just too slinky, too soft, and tough to keep in tune and intonate. So 11 to 48 works for me for dad gad. My little bit of advice there, take it or leave it. Get yourself one of these. If you've been on the fence about a Harley Benton Amarok or their Baritone or any of their other you know, similar models, don't be, man. It's well worth the money. 500 bucks is going to get you $1,000, $1,200 worth of spec in this you know, budget-friendly guitar. Harley Benton is doing a great job. And like I said, I can't say enough about their customer service and the communication with me uh, through email and such. It's just been a joy. This is my third Harley Benton. I'm not a paid spokesperson, I'm just telling you. I've dealt with them three times, and three times I've been satisfied. Love this stuff. Give it a try, check it out if you want to, or don't, I don't really care. Leave a comment down below too, if you're a left-handed, a left-handy, <laughs> a left-handy? Leave a comment down below if you're also a left-handed person who plays right-handed guitar like I do. I don't know if we're rare breed or not, or if that's a common thing. Probably more rare would be if you're a right-handed and play a left-handed guitar, that would be really weird, but uh, maybe that's you. Let me know down below. Harley Benton coffee, you know, what more could you ask for? Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. See ya! Oh, still recording. <laughs> Go home. The video's over. See you guys later.